Okay guys, as I outlined in my previous video, um, this video is going to be about AI settings and how to set them for how you want your ship to act in any given situation. Alright, these cannot be changed once you have input them into the blueprint. What you have to do is you have to go back into your blueprint save the new AI settings and then you're going to have to refit all your ships so it's best to get these AI settings the way you want them straight away alright target settings minimum HP 0% well yeah you want to kill them maximum HP 0% well yeah I don't suppose it matters um because that's targeting minimum HP and so it doesn't really matter if it's targeting a maximum HP of 0% as well and minimum scale is zero target maximum scale zero it's just the default preferred engagement range now if it's a fighter probably going to want it on a close or point blank uh, engagement range if you've got a ship that you've set up with um, with weapons that have huge amounts of range you set it to far well, you can set it to custom. And generally you want this to be whatever your weapon statistics are. So let's say we've got this jump fighter here. I'm going to here, weapons, range, 0 0.15 and 0 0.07. Now you've got to set it to the minimum and possibly a little bit below the minimum. So we'll go back into the AI settings and that was... 0.07 custom and we'll set that to 0.06 and this way um, it will get within range with all of its weapons and then it'll just open fire um, and it'll be much easier for it to hit the target at that distance now this target planets, target ships, and engage multiple targets. Uh, if you've got the default fighters, you'll notice that the target planets is off. When you make yourself uh, a new fighter, or a bomber, or whatever, um, target planets should be on. Um, with scouts, doesn't target anything. Uh, it says engage multiple targets, but still doesn't target anything because there's no weapons on the ship. Default stance, engage at will. <coughs> you don't need to worry about any of this stuff uh, for a scout. However, if you are using, say, what do we got? Dry dock. Uh, you need other ships to fetch resources so you switch that to auto uh, because the dry dock basically boosts your your build capacity and if you have um, other ships that can fetch resources in the system such as a hauler uh, yeah that one so this one fetches resources you don't want it to have other ships fetch resources for it uh, but yeah, it can deposit resources on anything, deposit resources on stations, deposit resources on planets. And if you've got a tanker, which is here, you want it to be able to deposit resources on ships. Now you've got to make sure that you switch that on because the default tanker doesn't do that. Okay, so we've got uh, default engagement distance. Let's go to the, let's go to the Megatron. Default engagement distance. Local area can be set. Now, just to put this in perspective, uh, if I select that planet there, uh, its distance is 14.4 AU to that planet, to that solar system. So, default engagement distance, you can set it at about 20 and 
any ships that you build on this planet will automatically go and defend the surrounding systems. The default is 40. However, I will show you the distance that that is. That's 18, 33, 44. So it's in between there. So maybe about, yeah, there, there we go. That's 40 away from that system. No, that which system was it again? That one. Right, so you got that system to that system is about 40. And as you can see, that is a huge area for a ship to be covering. Unless, you're, unless you've got your uh, home world, wherever it is. Yeah, there it is. Unless you've got ships pumping out of your home world and you want them to immediately defend all of the surrounding colonies 40 is probably not the best setting for that so put it at 20 and it should uh, it should go to the neighboring systems pretty easily it also depends on the spacing between the stars in the galaxy as well as to what's as to what you set that to oh and what I didn't cover was entire galaxy but that's self-explanatory so, docking settings, dock at planets, dock in stations, dock in ships, never. Big ships, you don't really need them to dock up, they just sort of hang around. Carrier settings, now here we go. This ship actually has a very small ship bay. So, what I've got is the default strike craft. This setting is not in other designs. It's only in designs that you have uh, a carrier uh, ship bay with. So anyway, we got the carrier settings. And the reason that I have these carrier settings is for, wherever it is, these. Now these repair drones automatically replenish. Now these repair drones uh, I'll show you the design. That's all that they do. They just repair. Uh, but, if you'll notice on the Megatron, the ship bay size, uh, oh, ship bay capacity down here, yeah, 3.12. So that gives me six of those little repair drones. And each one of those little repair drones and this is six for each Megatron I add and each one of those little repair drones does 17.17k regen per second on on the Megatron so <coughs> uh, six sevens 42 42k per second uh, that, is, that is adding to the Megatron's total repair amount and this may not seem like a lot, but it can help uh, in the overall score of things. So fetch fuel went under 48%. Uh, that's fine. However, this fetch ammo went under 48%. That's not fine. What you want to do is turn that down to about 5%. Why do you ask? Because if it's 48%, it means that it's going back to fetch ammo when it still has almost half of its ammo left. And therefore it doesn't stay out on the battlefield for as long and returns to the base far more frequently than it needs to. So I turn that down to 5%. Um, oh crap, what did I do? Oh yeah, that's right, I saved it. Get back to the AI settings. Automatically retrofit. As I said in the earlier video, it's advised that you have that on almost every ship type that you design. Uh, things that you don't have to worry about it with are things like scouts, carriers, uh, haulers, tankers, if you use them. And that's about it. Defend system. Of course, if you want to, if you want it to defend the system, you have to have that in there, and yeah, that's that's about it. 
uh, you've got the deposit resources and things like that um, but they're more for things like haulers you know you do trade thing deposit resources it will ask you a type of resource that you want to deposit um, and you just like select metals and 25% or whatever and yeah depending on what you need each ship to do uh, let's take a look at this one there we go that one says work with boarding party see it gives you a selection of the tool work with boarding party okay but it's only got one boarding party on there but if you'll notice there's actually two of them I'm not sure if it's written in that it will oh where the hell did it go I'm not sure that if it's written in if it's written into the program that it'll actually work with both boarding parties when you do that and if you're in doubt you can always just add another boarding party and it should work with both at that point so yeah but that pretty much covers the basics of the AI settings uh, if there are any questions leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you see you later